I'm not going to waste your time. Here's an OBS guide on how to become a high value man. Step 1. Mindset This isn't a video about how to become a high value man in one week, and a realistic BS it's going to be hard and take a long effing time. You are going to face so many challenges and setbacks and you should definitely expect to feel lonely sometimes. Because you are going to be so focused on yourself and won't be able to relate to your old real life and Call of Duty friends anymore, but that's okay because that's the sacrifice you must make. So, right now, if you're feeling stressed, tired, frustrated and misunderstood, guess what? You're a human being and that means you should feel these things as you move from where you are now to a high-value man. If you do the things that I'm going to tell you in this video for 6 months straight, you'll be unrecognizable when people see you. This is the only video you need to watch on this topic. Go out there and take action right now because I'm going to take you by your hand and show you step by step how I did it so you avoid making my mistakes. I'll give you actionable steps to do after every step so you need to watch every step till the end for this to work. Here's an actual step for you to do now. Get a piece of paper or a note and write Why do I want to become a high value man? And then write a few bullet points in there. Maybe to attract that girl from high school or to be more confident? Let's move to one of the most important things to become a high value man. Step 2. Physical attractiveness. Having a body with crazy six-pack and big arms give you 10 times more confidence. I felt like I was on top of the world when I got in shape. I felt happier and had more energy. Men respected me and girls were drawn to me like a magnet. And also, you're going to attract good people into your life. If someone is skinny, fat, with small arms and man boobs, he is going to attract people like him. But if someone is with a good body and goes to the gym at least 40 times a week, he is going to attract high-value men. Your life is going to be more enjoyable with a good body, but you need to have a good skincare routine as well. The first thing people look at when they see you is your face, second is your body. Take care of both of these and you'll have unlimited confidence. I made a video about my skincare routine, link will be in the description and on the screen. Here's your actionable step now, this is for the people that don't work out. Go on Google and find a workout routine. And it's going to be your starting point. I personally use the program Wendler 531 that focuses on the big compound lifts like the squats, deadlifts and bench presses. Go search on YouTube for the exercises that I just mentioned, make sure to do them with the correct form. Step 3 is Discipline. Without discipline, you can't become a high-value man. Some days you're not going to feel like working out and... You're not going to feel like working on that business that you postponed five times now. You're not going to feel like making your bed in the morning, so... You shouldn't just trust your brain. Your brain is the reason you keep feeling like crap. Your brain has convinced you to watch nasty videos. In fact, your brain told you over and over to eat that donut. Turn off your brain and do what you need to do, not what you want to do. And like Mike Tyson said, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. Because if you don't have discipline, you're not going to do the things that I'm going to tell you in this guide. You're going to be stuck in the loop of watching more and more videos on this topic and not taking any action. How can I become more disciplined? You have to understand that sometimes you do things against your will. It's okay to not want to do something, but you could make your bed or clean your room. If you don't feel that way, you do it anyway. Even though deep down inside you really don't want to, you need to do the activity at that exact moment without overthinking it. Let's take an example on a Tuesday evening when you're really tired from school and you have an exam tomorrow. Your mind told you to stay home, watch Netflix and chill since it's 6pm and you didn't work out, but when you feel that feeling of not wanting to go, that's where you need to go to the gym. Even when you don't feel like going. First you have the thought of not wanting to do X and then you go to do X anyway even when you don't feel like doing it. And if you do that over time, you'll get used to that feeling and you become a disciplined person. A habit normally takes around 30 to 45 days to lock it down. Here's the actual step for this one. You need to train your brain to become more disciplined by doing things that you don't want to do and doing it anyway. That's why I need you to wake up tomorrow and do what I call the discipline task. It could be making your bed or cleaning your room or for some people brushing their teeth and after picking that discipline task, then make a habit tracker with that activity and tick the box when you completed it. Step 4. Making more money To become a high value man, you need to have money so that you can provide for yourself and your loved ones. 
You don't deserve to work at a shitty job at McDonald's or KFC. I'm going to tell you something which is going to shock you. Working hard is not the key to making money. If that was the case, people who were from 9 to 5 every day would be rich, but instead they're still broke because they exchange time for money. But you need to have the opposite. You need to have money work for you by doing some kind of business. There are people that say, I'm X years old, so I can't make money. I'm still young, I want to live my life to the fullest and sleep with women that I don't give a f about and drink at parties with useless people that don't care about me. Let me tell you something. There are people who are lazier than you and dumber than you, and they are making millions of dollars at your age. But Josh, I live in India and it's very hard to make money here. Do you know someone who is rich in India? Well, of course, so why have this limited belief that will hold you back for the rest of your life? Remove this limiting belief in your head. Don't just think, but actually believe that you deserve a better life. You deserve more money. So try to aim for at least 7k a month, which is huge, but if you stick to it, you will see your life transform. First, set a goal on how much money you as an individual want to make per month and why. Tim Ferriss once tweeted, unrealistic goals are more achievable than realistic goals. You need to get educated, you don't need to have a degree, but you need to educate yourself on how to make money. This only works if you are consistent and have patience, so the first thing you're going to do after this video is go to Google, search how to make money online. I personally would go for making videos you are passionate about on YouTube, it doesn't have to cost you a penny. Just grab your phone and start recording yourself talking about stuff. Don't worry if the quality is bad the first time, you will get better if you stick to it. So many YouTubers started like this and are now millionaires and I want you to become one of them. Step number five, take the risk. It's been a dream of mine my whole life to start a YouTube channel and teach others what I know, but there was always this voice in my head that told me I was a failure. It's not possible or nobody should learn from you because you're not good enough, but after I changed my mindset, instead of asking myself, how do I get over the fear of starting something new? I remember that I can't be afraid and do it anyway. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg once said, the biggest risk is not taking any risk. In a world that is changing really quickly, the only strategy that is guaranteed to fail is not taking risks. Being courageous doesn't mean doing something when you're not scared. Deal with fear by acting. You will keep being scared until you do what you need to be done. So ask that pretty girl, shoot your shot, launch that YouTube channel, quit that shitty job and take the risk. When you're 80 years old and you're on your deathbed, you would wish you took the shot when you had the chance. Step number six, good mental health. I kept this point till the end of the video because it's the most important step in this video. Most people have clicked off, but you are still here. I am very proud of you. The bad things that happen to you are all because of your mental health, but how do you know you have bad mental health problems? If you experience feeling down, sadness, or hopeless and excessive worry, this is because of bad mental health. Don't worry if you are showing signs of poor mental health, that means your body wants you to make a change. And the good news is it's very possible to achieve a drastic improvement on your mental health in only two weeks. The next video I will post will be about how to cope with mental health and use stress as fuel to becoming successful. My name's Josh and my goal with this channel is to build a community and help as much guys as I can to becoming the best version of themselves. Like and subscribe to my channel and let the rest of us know in the comments section below what helped you to become the better version of yourself. Peace out.